Melbourne's lost dogs home has been revamped to accommodate more cats. It's hoped the multi-million dollar development, which boasts cat condos, will improve the adoption rates of strays. From a run-down portable building to perfection, stray cats handed in to the lost dog's home now have their very own facility, costing more than $2.3 million. The lost cat's home caters for 145 felines. Look, I'm very excited, I'm very proud of what we've built here. I don't think uh, anyone else in the country has got anything like it. They say cats don't have owners, they have servants. And the same goes here, where the barking of lonely dogs is muffled and each pod has its own ensuite. They're very relaxed. As soon as you put them in there, they seem to relax straight away. In the old facility, they were very uh, stressed for a few days. So it doesn't take them long to settle in at all. Currently, just 10% of the cats that end up here find new homes, but it's hoped this accommodation will change that. The more hygienic conditions helping to avoid an illness that used to be a death sentence for strays. These air-conditioned units are designed to reduce the prevalence of cat flu, which infected 15% of cats in the old holding facility. It now affects just 3%. So while it's cool for cats, operators hope they won't have to live here for long. We're really uh, keen to get as many uh, cats and kittens as adopted as possible. And that's our New Year resolution for 2011. Uh, go cats. Candace Wyatt, 10 News.